Hello, Your Majesty, and welcome now to Shout Out Wednesday. Post a comment or ask a question at SoulGuard.tv in the Leo viewing room or on the Leo profile page, and I'll do my best to shout back or answer to you one week later. Well, looks like it's going to be a sunny day, but another pensive day for the royalty of the zodiac. The moon is in Aries, so your emotions are fired up. But at the same time, you're kind of spaced out. This is the transit every month where Leos are kind of processing and learning from the last 28 days of their life. So we replay old conversations, we reread old emails, and we think and get deep about things. And you're literally emotionally going up one little mark in your emotional development. So be easy on yourself. Don't worry about how you look. Just put it out there and learn. As we're on the sun, though, there is some soul work to do today besides spacing out. We're in Chapter 3 of Sun and Gemini. The topic this month for Leos is your social status. And today, Saturn is ruling the day, which means it's time to make a decision about what you want in the world. Now, this should be probably easy for most Leos. So what I'd like you to do, Leo, is look yourself in the mirror. I don't care if it's even when you're brushing your teeth. Look yourself in the mirror, make direct eye contact, and make some decisions. I'm going to commit to myself to be this in the next 365 days. This is a whole year we're planning, okay? This is the only update you get once a year. I commit to this, I want this circle of friends, I want friends to treat me this way, I wanna be known for this, I wanna reach this status, this is what I promise me to do, okay? And Leos need to make promises to themselves, we all need to make promises to themselves, and today you will find with Saturn ruling the day, you should have the strength and enough information to make a decent decision. Try not to bite off more than you can chew, Leo. You're only setting yourself up for disappointment. Make it, I always say to Leos, aim for this when you know you're going to be like this. That way Leo's always so happy with themselves. Then finally for our shout out comes from Palmer, our director of Leos, who is talking about or passed on a comment from Lindsay Liu, who asked a question about long-term relationships. Apparently Lindsay Liu has got all kinds of old exes coming into her life all the time. And she's like, is this common for Leos? I've suddenly had a swarm of exes come in. You know what? It's not that it's common for Leos, it's that it's common for souls. Remember, Jupiter is an Aquarius for you guys, which means that Jupiter is helping Leos expand their ideas of long-term relationship, expand their ideas of marriage, and Leos are probably the most set up to find someone really hot this year. But part of the learning process is common to have the old people come back so you can kind of check off your board what you learned. I find, in most cases with my clients, that when a strew of exes comes into their life, it means the one or the next big one is coming because the other ones can smell it and you have to kind of look at, have a review of what you've learned so far before you move on. So this is very common and Lindsay, it's very good news. I think you got someone coming soon. All right, that's all I have for Shout Out Wednesday. See you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So good.